Hi everyone, this is Dr. Garner here again with Orofacial Part 2. That means if you haven't seen Part 1 yet, go back and watch that. Um, and please also subscribe to my YouTube channel at the same time. So if you haven't uh, looked at that, please go do that. Second part, what do you need to look for to know if you need orofacial work done? Well, part one goes over that. There's five points, three main ones and two, five, two bonus points um, in the part one. But now I need to ask you some more questions. First, do you have a tense tongue, right? So if you, I'm just picking up my skull here. Uh, do you have a tight tongue? If you stick the tongue out, right? If you touch the tongue to the top of your uh, mouth behind your front teeth, there should be no tethering, pulling, or pain in either of those directions. If when you have your mouth closed, but your jaw separated, it's like chewing, right? And you chew a little bit on air, and you can feel inner tension, tension that sometimes runs into inside the ear or into the teeth, into our periodontal ligaments or inside the jaw or gives you any other kind of referred pain, then you might have a tense tongue. And following the videos on my three diaphragm playlist can really help you out. The next thing to know is, um, or to check for is mouth opening. You should be able to at least get two finger widths into an open jaw, preferably three. If not, that's really something for your therapist to check out. This could also be just a simple exercise you do every day. But if you get clicking here, or a dislocation of that disc where your jaw can get stuck while you're eating or speaking, definitely go see your local friendly PT who specializes in this um, arena. But it could just be an, a daily stretch that you do as well. So just moving the tongue as in lion breath in yoga, which is can really help as long as your exhale can go. So one more time with me go. Really stretch, 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 stretch the tongue out as you exhale over it. Second is that daily stretch of the jaw, especially if you're feeling like really tense and something's very stressful. Let it go, let it go. Stretch the jaw, stretch the tongue. And lastly would be, how is your stress response? Do you feel like your, your gain is, is up so that you hear everything, you're feeling everything really intensely? It could be that you need a vagus nerve reset so all you need is a squishy ball, nothing fancy, just a kid's play ball is, is good enough. And if you turn your head to the side, you will see this muscle here called the sternocleidomastoid. The vagus nerve has an auricular branch that comes out here in this area and also comes down through the neck area. That's a perfect place to do two things. Do a hum sigh. Mm, just three times. Do it again with me. Mm, it doesn't have to be pretty. It, it can be breathy. It doesn't have to be melodic in any way. One more time. No chest breathe. Inhale, belly breath. And glide down. Mm, which can really, using music, and sound help to reset the vagus as well as follow the yellow brick road of the SCM here and massage all the way up. You're probably gonna find some tender points here. So when you do, lean into it. You know, like when your dog or your cat leans into you if you're a pet person, when you're rubbing them, do the same thing to yourself. Lean in, give yourself that hug, and you can hum sigh with this. say do this about three times, three hum sighs on each side. Mm. Combine with the stretch and the lion breath. Okay guys, I don't know about you but I already feel better and I've only done part of this. So I hope this orofacial part two has helped you. 
There are so many beautiful layers to treating the orofacial area. And the good thing is this helps with core stability and back pain. This helps with breathing. This helps with pelvic health and hip and low back health. So the entire spinal column and stress response and systemic health. So these things are good um, for everyone, no matter if you have neck pain, jaw pain, headaches or not. All right, if you haven't already, do subscribe to my free YouTube channel at drgingergarner.com and give me a follow on Instagram where you will see the short and long versions of these there with more helpful hints. All right, see you next time.